Hey, what's going on? Just a quick video showing how to use the 303 protectant on the rubber or pleather parts of your figures. This stuff really does help preserve the materials, it softens them, makes them less likely for it to crack or peel. The product that I'm using is the Aerospace Protectant Spray Bottles. You can get these in wipes as well, but I personally prefer the spray. I think it lasts longer. I've removed the belt already, and um, if you don't know how, it's just a peg you can pull out and then you can remove the belt, it's really easy. Um, I, you also need a microfiber cloth. But in this scenario we're using Batman and all you need to do is go ahead and remove the head and the cape, pop off a hand and then the gauntlet. In my case the forearm is actually stuck to the suit. This is pretty common on Batmans. It almost feels like it's glued on there but it isn't. Just slowly spin it and pulling it down and just be careful because it could tear the suit in extreme cases. Just take it slow and you'll be okay. Once I removed it, it did leave a little hole but I wasn't being very careful. You can definitely do this easier. The feet come right off and then you can remove the shin armor. This can get stuck as well, but it's usually a little bit less likely. And you want to put it in a pose with the arms out to the side as well as the legs. Just try to pull the suit um, downwards as you do it. It helps alleviate the creases as to make sure that no areas are missed. The armpits and the crotch are hot spots for cracking and peeling, so make sure to get those areas open so that you can get to them. On the spray bottle, there's three options. You've got stream, spray, and off. We want to use the spray as it has a better coverage. Do a few squirts onto the figure and um, you don't have to stress you can't really use too much as it's all going to be wiped away later just get your cloth and start to massage the solution into the suit make sure you only use one side of the cloth and the other side is clean and spread it evenly throughout so once your body's done you can leave it and then take the cowl remove the eyes and the faceplate i still wouldn't spray the cowl directly personally just spray onto the cloth directly and then wipe that onto the cowl once again, you can't really use too much here, and um, you don't really need to do this, it's not like it's going to crack, but I personally think it definitely makes it darker, it makes it more black compared to how it was before. If I had the foresight to take a before and after picture, then you'd actually be able to see that, but I have tested it on the BVS suit and it made the rubber look new and darker. It's just for where the rubber has started to lose its colour and picked up dust and stuff. You can do this on the forearms and the shins as well, that's what I do. Um, then what you want to do is just leave it for 5-10 to 10 minutes um, after that's done you can get the clean side of your cloth and just start to wipe away all the excess solution on all of the pieces. And this solution does not dry on its own and if you leave it it will just stay looking wet and shiny. I use a little bit on the back part of the belt as most of it is inaccessible. Once you're finished it does look quite shiny at the moment but it will become more of a matte finish. Um, you can see the cowl looks a bit darker how it was before, like I said. In my previous videos, I've done a customizing tutorial on how to add a bit more prominent stubble on the mouth plates. I've just done that to the Ben Affleck head sculpt as well in the exact same way. Um, I've also done a video on how to add some more detail to the accessories. If you want to check those out, then you're more than welcome to. If you have any questions regarding this stuff, you can leave them in the comments or message me on Instagram. You can use this stuff on any pleather or rubber materials such as Daredevil, Punisher's coat, Iron Spider, Yondu's coat, etc. Anything like that. If you're not sure, you can always shoot me a message on Instagram um, and just ask. that You're more than welcome to it. It's not a problem. Um, and let me know if you give this a try, if it worked for you. Cheers.